Yes, today we're taking a beer bath to see if this ancient self-care tradition can actually help lower our stress levels. Yeah, we're not huge fans of drinking beer, but according to a Forbes article, bathing in beer can be the healthiest thing you do this year. Sounds legit. <laughs> but apparently, people in Europe have been bathing in oak hot tubs full of beer for centuries, claiming that this practice relieves stress, cleanses the skin, and releases toxins from the body. To this day, beer bathing is a common self-care activity in places like Czech Republic and Iceland. So, since Rage has been a little stressed lately, we thought we'd put the leftover beers that our friends brought last week to good use. It's time to test if our DIY beer spa will help us unwind or simply leave us stinking like alcoholics for days. <laughs> Here's what you need to do. First, fill up your bathtub with warm water, then pour in a few bottles of beer of your choice at room temperature, add one cup of Epsom salt and two tablespoons of coconut oil. Then mix it all together and you're good to go. <laughs> all right, so the bath is ready to go. It's smelling like beer in there. <laughs> but before we get in, we have to measure Rach's stress level by using this app called Weltery. The app uses the phone camera to calculate your heart rate variability, which is the variation in time between each heartbeat. And from that, it's able to calculate your stress levels. All right, so the app says that my stress level is 32%, which is not high, but it's higher than yesterday. So let's see if this beer bath will help at all. <laughs> Stressful day at the office. I hate this job. I hate this goddamn job and I don't need it. Just for comparison, yesterday we took a bath with just Epsom salt and coconut oil to see how my stress levels would be impacted by a regular bath. And my stress decreased from 24 to 20%, showing a total of 4% decrease in stress. So if beer baths actually work at decreasing stress, the app should show a bigger drop than 4% in my stress levels. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why I'm not getting my results measured, it's because according to the app, I'm an invader from space. All right, so Rach and I started testing our HRV at 741. Rach got her results immediately. Mine didn't work the first time, didn't work the second time, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, on three phones. I mean, it just kept getting error, error, and it's now 809. I've been here half an hour. I am so done with this thing. So we're only tracking Rach's stress because right now I am pieced. <laughs> But I'm still taking this bath, so let's do it. Smell. It's not. It's not my favorite. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to chill for 15 minutes and then measure the results. See ya. Yeah. So, while we soak in beer for 15 minutes, let me explain why modern science believes beer bath therapy can actually help reduce stress. The main reason is because of hops, which is the ingredient used in most beers to give it that distinct bitter taste. But hops is also often used for medicinal purposes to treat anxiety, tension, or insomnia. When hops is absorbed by your skin, it's thought to increase the activity of gamma aminobutric acid. I think I said that right, but basically Basically, it's the neurotransmitter that promotes relaxation and sleep. Oh, and it's also said to be extremely good for your skin. And you know your girl loves a bit of glowy skincare, hello! Please, get me out. Oh my god. Alright, time is up. Let's get out of here. Smell yourself? Uh, <laughs> let's go, it's time to measure Rachel's stress levels. Before we reveal the results, I just want to say if you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed out, please take a second to nurture yourself. Long-term chronic stress is no joke and it's proven to cause so many health problems. I just finished reading the book When the Body Says No and let me tell you, that book was an eye-opener. I highly recommend reading it if you're struggling with this yourself. But yeah, please put your health first even if it means slowing down or becoming an inconvenience to other people. If you're anything like me, I know that can be a super hard thing to do, but it will be for the best in the long run. 
Anyways, little stress rant over, back to the video. All right, we just measured my stress levels, so here are the final results. Just to recap, after yesterday's normal bath, my stress reduced by 4%, from 24% to 20%. And today, after the beer bath, I went from a stress level of 32% to, drum roll please, 23%, a total reduction of 9%, which does indicate that a beer bath reduces stress levels more than a normal bath. I think it indicates that Rach is a true Brit and she belongs in the pub with a big what? pint of beer. <laughs> You. That's where you feel at home, in a yeah. pub. It all With makes my fish sense. And chips. Seriously though, this is obviously not a professional study. And although the app is supposed to be very accurate, it does consider me an alien from outer space, so I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't think we can confidently claim that beer bath does reduce stress. No, and honestly, despite what the app says, I did enjoy the normal bath more than the beer bath because the stank of that beer was just something I could yeah. not relax to. You know, if, if beer is your thing and you're looking for a unique self-care activity, why not give it a try? Now, if you want some tangible steps that really helped us reduce stress, then check out this video here where we break down five simple hacks used by stoic philosophers to reduce stress. With that said, We'll see you next episode, and don't forget... Dare to be happy! <laughs> wow!